So here's a lesson for cold weather ranching. Uh, despite having a stock tank with a heater in it that cost me God knows how much to run every day, the cows for some reason still like driving, sorry, drinking out of this one. And uh, the problem is it's so cold now that this thing was just froze completely solid. I just put some hot water in it a minute ago just to give the cows a drink here. But uh, here's the mistake. Um, I should have never left this tub on the ground. It froze completely solid to the ground and is now two inch, two feet of solid ice. And like a dumbass, I thought I could maybe move it with the skid steer. And of course I just bent the hell out of it. So that was really stupid. In hindsight, of course it was stupid. It was never gonna move. I'm glad it didn't completely ruin my tank. As it is, I bent the edges. I just hit them with a hammer so they're not sharp. But um, I was pretty stupid. So the lesson for cold weather ranchers is with these stock tanks that you don't have heated is don't leave them right on the ground. If I had put it on pallets, I could have at least lifted it up and then I could have taken it somewhere and thawed it out so that this could be useful. And unfortunately now this stock tank is gonna be basically useless all winter because uh, it's just gonna be ice, ice, ice. And sure, I could throw five gallons of hot water on top for them to have a little drink, but that doesn't go very far. So um, just the things you learn when it's 15 below uh, about uh, watering stock. Um, I mean, they're not gonna go thirsty because I do have another stock tank with a heater in it. But um, I mean, this many cattle go through a ton of water every day. So uh, it's nice to have the second stock tank, but alas, um, I made a mistake that I won't make again. All right, so the cattle are all here and they all seem like they're okay. Um, there's a few of them that are pretty frosty still. It has not warmed up much today and it's gonna be very cold again tonight, 10 or 15 below at least. So I don't know. The animal, the pigs and the goats and the chickens are very warm though. The, the house that we built works like a wonder. I went in there last night to check them. It was about 42 degrees, which is great. Um, because I know people, farmers around here that have started to lose animals to the cold and not just chickens and things, uh, goats, uh, other animals are all succumbing to this ridiculous cold snap. Uh, it's only November and it should not be 15 or 20 below yet. So it's not quite, uh, not quite what everybody's expecting. So I'm not too worried about the cows because I've specifically tried to get cows that are hardy and that are the Scottish breeds. Um, but at the same time, I'm sure they're not very happy when it's 15 below. So I'm doing everything I can to give them warm water and extra calories, double rations of grain. Uh, I went and I got a whole new round bale of straw in the Matanuska Susitna, the Matsu Valley yesterday. And I gave them a whole round bale of straw just so they have an extra foot or so of straw to try to snuggle down into and stay warm and dry as best as possible. But um, it's a real challenge to to fight this cold. And it's not even that cold yet. I mean, 15 below is not that great, but it could easily get down to, I don't know, 30 or even 40 below this winter here. And uh, I'm really dreading that because I think if I'm, I don't know, if these cattle are that cold, uh, I, I need to work extra hard to make sure that they're okay. And there's not a whole lot I can do for them except make sure they have enough calories in a dry spot. But I care about them and I want them to be as happy as possible. So it makes me upset that I can't uh, do much more for them. But it's probably all in my head. I'm anthropomorphizing probably just because uh, they don't even seem to care. I mean, the hog doesn't have much uh, fur on them, obviously. Neither one of them do, but they're out here and they seem just fine. They, of course, go away at night and I've got about uh, two feet of straw for them. Hey, that's my hammer. And uh, they're in a heated, insulated barn at night. And I think uh, I went in there last night and they were just all snoring away, just happy as could be. I mean, it was very pleasant in there. So anyways, that's just an update on the farm here on this cold, clear, beautiful South Central Alaska day. And uh, let me get to some other tours.